I'm going to show you how to make this little curly cue. I have, you can sew this on your pumpkin or any other crochet project that you're working on. I have a separate video tutorial for the pumpkin. There's also a separate video tutorial for the leaf. And I also have this same curly cue or corkscrew on my crochet grapes. For the corkscrew design that I made, I used my 4mm crochet hook, as well as you're going to need your tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. The yarn that I used was I love this cotton yarn, bright green color. Just take your yarn, fold it over on itself to form a loop. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down and then cinch the yarn around your crochet hook. Then you're going to make a chain. I'm just going to show you four of them on video tutorial. If you like the size of my corkscrew, then you'll finish a chain of 23. But you can make your corkscrew design as long as you want. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for one chain, two, three, four. So go ahead, finish a chain of 23, and then come back. Then all you do is make three single crochet into every stitch back across. So for the first one, go into the second chain from the hook, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through both loops for a single crochet. Then make two more into the same stitch for a total of three single crochet into the same stitch. And then you're going to go into the next stitch over. And make three single crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way back across. Three single crochet into every stitch back across. And you'll notice as you work that it's going to start spiraling and forming that cute corkscrew design. I'm just going to work a few of them with you so you can kind of see how my design is taking shape and how I work the stitches and you can see how the corkscrew is forming. Alright, so go ahead Finish making three single crochet into every stitch across and then come back. Then after you're finished with your corkscrew design and you finish your last three single crochet into the last stitch, go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to, screw, to sew your corkscrew design onto your crochet project and you can kind of twist it make sure that the corkscrew design has the shape of the corkscrew now it's ready 
to sew onto your crochet project. I'm sewing mine onto my pumpkin, but you can sew yours onto whatever crochet project that you want. I have a separate video tutorial for this cute pumpkin, and there's also a separate video tutorial for the leaf if you just want a crochet leaf. For the pumpkin, I just sewed it right at the base of the stem, bringing the loose yarn end in first, and then sewing it in place with the long end left for sewing. And this is what it looks like after sewing it onto my pumpkin. And this is what it looks like on the back side. This is what my pumpkin looks like in a peach colored orange. This is acrylic yarn, and then this is my 100% cotton yarn. Now I just want to show a close-up of each of my pumpkins. This is just a glass pumpkin that I bought from Autumn Radiance. It's really pretty. This is the pumpkin with the braided cable down the center and the papaya color. And this is the papaya color with just the straight posts down the center. Here's a different color for the pumpkin, like a lighter orange with the straight posts down the center. And then you can crochet your pumpkin and make a kitchen towel topper. I show how to make that. This is with the softer orange, light orange color and the towel that it's on. Now these other towels that I used have the Life's a Hoot design for a kitchen towel topper. I have a separate video tutorial for Life's a Hoot kitchen towel topper for beginners. It's real easy, quick and easy to make. I also have the written pattern for the Life's a Hoot kitchen towel topper and it's free for download in my Helen May Crochet YouTube channel Facebook group for my members. And these just make wonderful gifts for people or for your own house. Thank you.